Hi there, um, having built my uh, little 10V uh, Stuart uh, steam engine, um, Peter aka Model Steamers suggested that it might be an idea putting a, a reverse mechanism on it. Uh, so having thought about it, um, I think it will actually uh, create a little bit more interest. So I've ordered the bits and bobs from Stuart Models and uh, hopefully it will arrive soon and uh, when it does I'll have a go at uh, making it. Um, now my next model uh, I'm thinking about a hit and miss engine and this is another of Peter's sort of like suggestions um, and uh, I've done a little bit of investigation and some of the kits are really really expensive and there don't seem to be many around the UK I think you could be talking about 500 or 600 pound just for um, just for the casting kit which is uh, a little bit too risky I think for me um, but I've, I've come across a, a, a couple of um, possible models um, built from bar stock there's one by David Kurzel um, a lot big a lot of information some plans um, the plans go back to uh, 2003, I think. So I'm not too sure how many people might have had a go at that. Um, if anybody has, I'd really be interested uh, for any sort of feedback on uh, the experience of that. I've also found uh, on the Model Engineers Forum a thread about some Rena um, engine drawings. Um, but again, I'm, I'm not too sure where those drawings are um, and indeed whether or not anybody's had su any success with those but again if anybody has I'd really be interested in sort of their views on it and indeed any other sort of hit, hit and miss engines that uh, somebody might have made from, uh, from bar stock uh, so hopefully that might be a project I'll get on with at some point in time and uh, lastly what this video is all about is a couple of months ago I was watching a video, a YouTube video on Dave M's channel um, about uh, Touch DRO, I think he was installing it on his, uh, on his mini mill and I left a comment and a local guy called Adam very kindly sent me the Bluetooth controller that he'd made for the Touch DRO uh, now where is it? So he's made this and he also sent me a boatload of information through about um, the Touch DRO and how you can go about installing it on the uh, on the milling machine. So that's the controller he made. Um, so uh, I've decided I'm going to uh, have a go at installing Touch DRO for all of the three axes. Now I've already got um, a scale on the Z axis, um, so I've had to buy a few more bits and bobs to uh, sort of start this uh, little project going. So uh, I'll show you what I bought. Now then, just a bit more information about this uh, Bluetooth um, controller board. Um, now if anybody's interested in making one of these, Adam did send me some details over regarding um, the circuit um, details and the actual circuit board. Um, it also uses an Arduino Nano uh, controller and I think the Bluetooth um, chip is an HC-06. But like I say, if, if somebody's um, clever enough to make one of these, I'll certainly send the information to them if they ask for it. Um, and Adam uh, is, is quite happy for me to do that. Now, um, what Adam suggested was um, I get some more eye gauging scales or eye gauging type scales from Archeoro Trade. Now on my Z-axis I've already got um, 
one of these scales and uh, I bought these two more from ARC and uh, that's a 200 millimeter one for the um, Y axis that's a 300 millimeter one for the X axis and these use remote displays uh, like the one I've already got and they have on them um, USB uh, connectors now um, on the board that Adam sent me um, it's got mini USB connections now it looks like what's happened is the scales from ARC have changed them from mini to micro so what I've also had to do is to purchase these little things here um, so that's um, a micro USB female to a mini USB male um, adapter now also um, the display Adam suggested uh, I got a Lenovo uh, tab so that's an E7 tab just got this from Argos can't remember how much it was probably about 60 or 70 pound um, and I believe that's all you need um, so what I'll do uh, in my next video is I'll uh, look to install um, a set of these scales on the uh, probably the x-axis first of all because I think that's probably the hardest one so hope you found it useful so far and uh, hope to see you in a bit